Hi guys, so this is going to be an updated vlog, plant vlog for my ficus lorata or for leaf fig tree and this is the one, this is the first one um, and I'm just going to focus on here. You know what's weird is that a lot of people worry about like the edema on it. I actually really love it. I love the the um the color on it. I know the leaf is trying to tell you that there's something that you should be correcting, but um this is just you usually get edema when it's inconsistent watering like I'm not watering it every Monday or every Tuesday or something like that. It's just inconsistent because the way I water it is um I touch the top of the root ball and then I touch um, the, the dirt around it and um, if it's incredibly dry then I will water it so I don't have a set schedule and I think it's I think I, I really do like that because I I water it when the plant needs it and I really actually really really love the edema on it so I'm just not going to change anything. But I think the last time that I did a vlog on this particular plant, this was still going to curl. I mean, this was still uncurling. Going to curl. And now I got, um, I have this new growth right here. Um, and then the other one, I have another new growth. So um, I don't really know if I want to take this off so to encourage more growth or just leave it as is because it's actually just keeps growing and growing um I'm very happy about that and I'm very surprised on the development of it I didn't expect it to be this many leaves in a short amount of time I actually thought <laughs> Um, when I started this was it was going to be like I was going to get one new leaf. And um, I remember my research and um, people were saying be patient. And there was even one person on YouTube that nothing happened to his um, fiddly fig. So my expectations weren't really very high. So I just kind of not really thought a lot about it and it's just I'm just so happy that this is happening I already have four leaves open and I have two coming out which I didn't even expect that to happen and I love the edema I just feel like it's just so beautiful on it I know a lot of people worry about stuff like that but um I don't know I love it and I kind of really wish that the, the edema will really stay, but I doubt it will. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. So anyway, I'm going to rotate to the other ones. So this one, I believe in the last vlog, this was still like a little nub in there. And now it's starting to grow. It's gotten taller. Let me just zoom in there so see it's gotten taller. Before it was just like up to here. So now it's gotten taller. I'm hoping this will be two leaves, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, let's see. The next one is over here. And there is a teeny tiny something coming out right there. It's still really teeny. It's still really tiny. There you go. So we'll see what happens on the next vlog. When I update it and how big that would be. So this one right here. Sometimes it just has these. But you know what I've discovered is that. Regardless of this. It just add, adds charm for me. So I really love it. Like I love the edema. I feel like that just builds character for my plant. I just love it. And I know in time it will just become like this plain green leaf, which is beautiful as well. But like the baby leaves, I love it. I love the light green and 
The edema is just so beautiful. And if you're wondering if I did that on purpose, I didn't do that on purpose. So, um, but I have really grown to appreciate the edema of its beauty. It's just, I, I think, I just think it's so beautiful. You know, I just think it's so beautiful. Um, and this right here, I have, I think the last time this was uncurling and this was like smaller and then that was it. And then now I have one and it's really hard and I'm kind of hoping, um, after this uncurls, there's going to be a new growth coming out. So here's the next one right there. It's gotten bigger. It's definitely gotten taller. I think the last time it was just up to here. So it's definitely grown. Um, there's another one right here. So this one right here, let me just try and focus that. This one right here has gotten taller. But I remember it was just really, really tiny uh, the last time I made my vlog for this plant. So there is some growth for that one. Um, this one has gotten taller. Ooh, look at that. It's gotten taller. The leaf has gotten a little bit bigger, I think. And it's just this beautiful light green color right there. And I'm just so happy about that. I do, um, where's the, the baby leaf that was growing on the side? So this... I'm not really seeing like a big growth on it. I think the new leaves on the top has grown bigger, um, faster than this one for some reason. I don't know why. Again, this is my first ever fiddle leaf fig tree and I got lucky. I was able to get a few trees in one planter um, or one pot. A lot of times they sell it as one or two. I got mine in like a four to six different trees in here. So I'm very, very excited. Um, so far in this growth rate, um, I really am on the fence on what I'm going to do. Come when it's, um, I really, I don't know. I really don't know. In a few months, I'm thinking about it. Like, should I keep it all the same? Should I split it? They're doing so well together. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe give it a few extra months instead of like, I don't know. I really don't. Um, and I mean, I can always repot it at any time of the year. I know a lot of, um, it's just a lot of people always recommend, my husband recommends, Transplanting, repotting, stuff like that should be done best in the spring. Um, I don't know. I, to me, I, I've been doing it all year round. I've That's how I've always done it. And um, I feel like if you just don't move your plants when you have them in your home, um, it shouldn't really be a big problem or a shock. I feel like it's already getting a shock when you transplant it. And then if you keep moving it around your house... That's going to be additional shock. So the only thing that I usually change if I transplant it is a transplant and that's it. I'm not going to move them anywhere else from the house. There's nothing that I'm going to change in regards to light and water and the soil. Nothing. So that's what I've been doing for about 10 years. 10 years or so. So I, my plants have always been great like that. And I think the... If you minimize the shock um, that the plant gets, I think that's that's the way to go. So, um, there you go. Here is my leaf fig, and this is my first one. I honestly don't know how tall I want it to be. Right now, I think it's, it's about three feet, four feet maybe. Probably between three to four feet. I don't really know how much it's grown. I never really measured it. I probably should have. Um, but I've only had her for a few months. And I just, you know, because this is in our bedroom, 
I just, every time I wake up, this is the first thing I see. And it's just, I love it. I just love it. So, you know, the weird thing is, I feel like because right before, when did I change it? I changed something. So I changed the fertilizer dose and I changed the supplement dose. And I believe it was around the time, it was around the time one and this one had something um, growing. And what I've noticed was when I changed the dose, I increased it. I've noticed that um, this became two. And it still keeps on producing more leaves. I don't know if that's normal because this is my first time. And the other one is doing the same thing. Not like the two, but it has the one right there. But after this uncurls, there's a new one right here. Um, I don't know if that's normal, but I just kind of noticed that it, it just did that. Um after I pinched it, after I pinched it, it really felt like super slow-mo. And then I changed the dose after I saw a little bit of development because the fertilizer, the kind of fertilizer I'm using allows that. So I was kind of experimenting on what would happen. So I did that and I kind of noticed that the speed of the new growth was actually kind of a little faster than it was before. Um, and also with the supplement. The supplement, I changed the dose. I doubled the, the dose of the supplement. Um, and I've kind of noticed that. I don't know if it's the combination or just the supplement. Because I do use the supplement with all my other plants. And I have noticed a difference. Because I changed it. I doubled the dose with everything else. And I have kind of noticed the difference and a little bit more growth. Um which is always very exciting and I, I just don't know um I probably should have want, done one or the other but I just got too excited and impatient so that's what I did um I am thinking of adding more stuff into the mix more supplements different kinds obviously so that I could um you know add it together because you don't want to be using too much of the same kind and of course, when I do do it here and I've already applied it for this particular plant, I will update the uh, description section of that. Um, if you guys are interested in what I've been using, all that good stuff, it'll be down uh, in the description section down below. Any questions, you guys, um, if I haven't answered them, if I haven't shown you guys, if there's anything I didn't mention, let me know down below. Um, I love hearing from you guys. I love chit-chatting with you guys. And I love interacting with you guys. Um, questions, suggestions, advice, anything, anything. I could talk about plants all day long. That would be wonderful. And I hope you enjoyed my video. You're going to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Here you go. I'm just going to slow it down. <laughs> I just can't get enough of these leaves. I, I really just can't. It's just, I love it. I just love it so much. Just, I don't know. Am I the only one that loves the edema and the fiddly fig? It will go away though. Just like the other one I had, it will go away. But um, so just for now, I'm kind of really enjoying it. I love it. It's just so beautiful. I love it. I love that it's red. It's just so unusual, you know? <laughs> um, so there you have it. This is the update on my plant vlog for my Fiddly Fig 1. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!